guys welcome back to our channel I am filming to you today with Stasi from within my car we are parked out here at the studio and as you guys know she comes with me to work every day and this is how she is riding these days I took her out of her Sherpa bag that she used to ride in and I brought this car seat out and this is how she's been riding. I still love the Sherpa and I am going to kind of switch up a little bit so that she still stays used to her Sherpa and um, that way when we need to put her in a bag, she will not freak out and she'll be really used to it. But I'm just not going to use it every day like I was doing uh, because she's really been enjoying sitting in her car seat and being able to look out of the windows and then she takes naps and she's really good in it. So first of all, I want to say a little bit about pet car safety or car safety for pets, I guess you would say. And um, I know I touched a little bit on this in the video where I explained the bag and I showed you guys the Sherpa bag, but I want to um, just touch on it a little bit more today. And just say that pet safety is very important just like human safety in cars. You never want to leave your pet uh, just loose in the car and not restrained in any kind of way because just like us, actually more than us, I think, because they're so tiny, if we get in an accident, the you know your dog can go flying out of the car or even within the car and sustain a great bit of injury or possibly even death. So it's really important that if you are traveling your, with your pet in the car that you restrain them some kind of way, either in a, um, a bag that is seat belted into the car or a car seat like this or a pet carrier or any kind of um, thing that pretty much you know secures them into the car. Now in this review I'm going to talk about our car seat and this is the Lookout Car Seat by Snoozer Pet Products. Now I believe that you can get this directly from Snoozer and I will leave the link below. I also know that you can get these at different online pet stores and GW Little is another uh, vendor for Snoozer Pet Products so I will leave there link in the description box below as well. I always like to buy from little online boutiques if possible. That way they, um, you know, they can survive. They are trying to, you know, make a business and survive and they are selling for these major vendors. So why not give them the business? That's my outlook on it. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Lookout Car Seat from Snoozer. And as you can see, Stasi is very, very comfortable in it. She can move around, but she is seat belted in. So she's wearing her harness. I wanted to show you how this hooks into your car. Very, very simple. So I'm going to move her kind of out the way because she is all relaxed. Come here, girl. Okay, let's show everybody. Okay, so... As you can see, there is a, like, I guess an indentation, I guess you would call it, in the car seat with the way that it's made. Just pull the seat belt through or over this little indentation here and connect it into your um, seat belt holder in the car very very simple you just pull it over like this was a person and then you put it in here and then there is a strap that comes with the car seat let me see if I can show you she is she's so fluffy it's hard for I know it's hard for you guys to see okay here we go so and doing this one-handed is not very easy either okay so this is the strap that it comes with the strap wraps around the seat belt part and you can adjust the strap. There is a clip that you can adjust it to make it the right size and then you just wrap it around the seat belt so that the strap is connected to the seat belt and then you hook 
the strap onto the harness. So basically, that is it. I mean, it's very, very simple. You don't want to hook it onto a collar. You want to use a harness because a harness would be much, much safer if there was an accident or if you put your brakes on really hard, you don't want to break their little neck. So a harness is necessary, not a collar. Now with Harper, because she is bigger than Stasi is, and she's kind of tall, I think, to fit in the car seat, a lot of times what I'll do is I have a extra one of these straps you can buy these straps extra and i just take the seat belt and i connect the seat belt into the car so that is secure and then i take the strap and wrap the seat belt strap or the car seat strap around this seat belt so that it's nice and secure and then i connect this to Harper's harness and that is how Harper rides in the car. So when they are both with me, Stasi will be in her car seat and Harper will be in this seat belt connected to her harness. So it works out really, really well. This is very strong. So, you know, it's made out of a strong nylon webbing. So I don't think that they, you know, would have a problem. And she is secure and connected, but she's not confined to a carrier because she wouldn't really like that. So, um, oh, Miss Pris is gonna show you that she's gonna try and get out of her car seat now. Um, get over there you so she's very curious to see what am I talking about all right so that is how Harper is secured in the car so a little bit about this snoozer lookout car seat this is their regular size. They do have a double size one if you have two dogs or an oversized one, but this is the regular size one. And they come in a variety of different fabrics. And this one is a micro suede fabric. And it is the cover, this actual micro suede part is just a cover. There is a foam part underneath it and the cover can actually come off there's a zipper in the back and you can take the cover off if you need to wash it for any reason now i know you guys are looking and wondering about this little applique right here this is something that i did so they do not come like this uh, but what happened is this was Bristol's car seat and I know you guys you know know from previous videos that I lost my little Yorkie Bristol earlier this year and her name was monogrammed on the car seat and that was from them so you can get it monogrammed on the actual car seat itself uh, but you know that's how it was so when Stasi came along, I had this beautiful, like new car seat, but it had Bristol's name on it. So I thought, what can I do? Because I don't really want to buy another one because it's brand, it's like brand new, you know, they don't get messed up. So I unzipped the micro suede cover and brought it to my local monogram shop and they made this beautiful applique and they just monogrammed it right over where Bristol's name was. So I actually love this even more, way more than the monogramming that comes with the snoozer um, car seat so this is a great idea if you like this um, don't get it monogrammed and then just do what I did take it to your monogram shop and then have them do something like this um, and then that way you know you have something unique and I think it's just beautiful it's done in pinks and golds and I think that it really matches well so basically um, the, the product is a very, very good product. They have been around for a long, long time. I've had this car seat for quite some time, and this is not my first one. I've had several different car seats through the years uh, with them. I used to have a double one when the Chihuahuas were younger, and they used to you know go a lot of places with me. So I've also had one that fits like on the console here. 
when Bristol was a puppy. They have one that will fit like on the console. Uh, but this is just the regular snoozer size, the lookout car seat size. And I love it. It's perfect. And as you can see, she's very, very comfortable. And a lot of people have asked me, well, how do you get her to stay in it? And I don't know, you know, I've like I've said, I've used these car seats for years and my pets have always just stayed in them. I've never really had any of my dogs try to get out. So I think that they really like it. They're very comfortable. Um, as you can see, Miss, Miss Stassi is just, <laughs> she can roll around and she, um, she takes a nap and then she'll get up and she'll look out the window and so I guess they're really comfortable in it so they don't, you know, my pets have never tried to get out so I'm not sure, you know, if that's normal or if it's or if it's abnormal, but that's just our experience. So if you would like to check out um, the car seats, I will leave a couple of links below where I know that you can get them. So that concludes this video. So as always, we would love to hear your questions, your comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!